Welcome back. Now that you've been introduced to the major organisms that are involved in tropical coastal ecosystems, it's time to begin to consider some of the key processes and phenomena associated with tropical coastal ecosystems. This week you'll be hearing from myself as well as Professors Sophie Dove and Peter Mumby, who will introduce you to some of the important environmental interactions, as well as key concepts such as predator-prey interactions, reproduction, recruitment, and population connectivity. During the week, I recommend that you take a look at Chapter 7, which covers the primary productivity and nutrient dynamics of tropical coastal ecosystems, as well as looking at Chapter 8, which deals with calcification and the carbonate balance. As part of your reading for this week, you might also look through section three of the textbook to get an idea about how different organisms on tropical coastal ecosystems go about reproduction. Now, naturally, this reading is meant to fill in gaps as opposed to be examinable. While some of the material uh, presented during this week is challenging, it does represent an important set of insights into key processes and phenomena associated with tropical coastal ecosystems like coral reefs. Well, I hope you have a good time this week and that you enjoy improving your understanding of some of these key aspects of the ecosystems that line tropical coastal regions.